Okay, when hitting a topspin forehand, what grip do we want? You must remember that the grip is either going to make it easy for you to get topspin or it's going to make it difficult. So grip is extremely important. It's the number one thing you need to focus on before you start anything. All right, so the grips that I recommend for a topspin forehand are going to be Eastern or Semi-Western. So let me show you those grips right now. Okay, all tennis racket handles are octagonal or eight-sided. We're going to give those sides numbers. Starting on the top, you got number one, number two. Now I'm talking about the flat bevels on the handle. So number one is that flat bevel right on top. Here's number two. That's a smaller bevel there. Three is on the side. Four is that smaller bevel on the bottom. And five is the bevel totally on the bottom there. Okay, it's the same thing for a left-hander just going the other way. Okay, now, to find our grips, what we want to do is put an X. If you notice, I've got one here on the heel of my hand and one on the index knuckle on the inside of the hand. Those two X's there. Now, for an Eastern forehand, you're going to place those X's on the side panel there, number three. So I put those X's on the side. That's my Eastern forehand grip right there. Okay, now for a semi-Western, I'm going to put the X's on number four, that smaller bevel just underneath. So I put the X's on number four, and I have, that's my semi-Western semi grip. Okay, so Eastern is here, number three, semi-Western, you turn it a little more, and you're on number four. Either one of those grips will work well for a topspin forehand. It's easier, let's say, to get, the to to get more topspin with a semi-Western grip, I would say for sure. Um, although with Eastern, you can do it as well. So those are the grips. You've, if you're trying to hit a topspin forehand, you need one of these two grips. When you're in the ready position, if you have an Eastern grip, your racket will tend to be straight up like this. All you need to do is push the palm of your hand downward slightly. So you see what's happening to the racket face there? The racket right now is straight up. When I push the palm inward down slightly, it closes up the face of the racket. Now, if you were on a semi-Western grip, number four, the racket's automatically closed. It's in this position. I recommend you start out in the ready position with the racket face closed. Now, it's a good idea when you're in the ready position, you're gonna either be holding a forehand or a backhand grip. So let's hold a forehand grip here. We've got the forehand, so if the ball does come to our forehand side, we're ready to go. We don't have to change grips. All right, so you've got your Eastern or your Semi-Western and the racket face is closed. As you bring the racket back, make sure that it stays in this position. As you turn your shoulders to bring your racket back, you don't want any wobbling with the racket face. You want to keep it in this closed position. So from here, you're turning and you're keeping it closed. You can see right now that my racket face is still closed. That is key to hitting topspin. You've got to maintain that closed position. Now, from there, where do we go? Well, to clear the net from the baseline area, you must swing on a low to high pattern. You've probably heard that before. Tennis pros are famous for saying it. Swing low to high, swing low to high. The reason you need to swing low to high is because if you don't, if you swing too straight across, your ball's going to go into the net. You need to hit the ball up from the baseline. The ball needs to leave your strings ascending from the baseline. So you've got to get below the contact point before you hit the ball. How low? At least one foot below the contact point 
before you swing forward. So when you bring your racket back, and let's say the ball's right here, I've got to drop my racket a foot below this point when the racket is back here. When the racket's facing the back fence, I turn, racket's still closed, the contact point is here, I've got to come down below it. That's why tennis pros are famous for saying, bend your knees. When you bend, make sure the racket drops with you. See how that racket drops. Now from here, if you're a foot below the ball and the racket face is closed, simply swing low to high from the shoulder and you're guaranteed vertical here. It's guaranteed every time. And the racket's moving, remember, from low to high. That's going to impart that forward spin to the ball. That's going to give you the top spin. So those are two keys that you absolutely want to focus on when you're practicing these shots. Keep the face closed, a foot below, and then just swing from the shoulder. You're, you're going to be vertical every time you hit the ball. Remember too, if you're holding an Eastern grip on Eastern, you have to push that palm in to close the face. So remember at this point here, that palm of your hand with that Eastern grip is going to be facing down. So let me demo a few forehands for you and I'll just show you those two key points again. Okay, when practicing your topspin forehand, number one, make sure you have either your Eastern or your semi-Western grip. Remember, if you have that Eastern grip, you're gonna make sure you push that palm down a little bit on the backswing. Okay, so your two basics that I wanted you to remember are number one, keeping the face closed as you come back. That's number one. Number two, that's gonna prevent, remember, keeping the face closed, that's gonna prevent you from hitting the ball long. Number two, get the racket below the contact point before you swing forward. How low? At least a good foot. If you want more topspin, go even lower, and you increase the angle on your swing. So those are the two points you really wanna focus on. Keeping that face closed on the backswing and getting that good foot below the ball. All right, here we go. Okay, key point to look for here is that as the racket comes back, Notice I use my left hand to help me bring the racket back and keep the racket face from wobbling. I want the racket face to stay in that position as I bring it back. So see the racket is still closed at this point. Okay, the racket is now back. The ball is approaching, so now the racket has to drop a good foot below the contact point. Okay, it's clear to see here, right now the racket is a good foot below the contact point. The key from here is to swing from the shoulder and you're guaranteed vertical at contact. Okay, the contact point is just in front of the lead foot. Okay, this time I'm going to show you an open stance forehand. Okay, the racket is now a foot below the ball. The racket face is closed. Simply swing from the shoulder, guaranteed vertical at contact. Okay, the contact point is out in front. The racket is vertical. I have not rolled the wrist up to this point. Now, as I finish, the, the wrist will roll and turn over. Okay, here's a view from the backside. Same thing, focusing on closed and getting a good foot below the ball. Here we go.
Okay, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Also, subscribe to my channel so that, you, so that you'll get all future videos that I do. And post any questions or comments down below. I'll do my best to answer. Also, if you want a free serve course that will take your serve, that will increase your serve speed anywhere from 10 to 15 miles per hour, click right up here in the left corner and you'll get access to that free serve course just by giving me your email address. There's no, it's free of charge, but you get that free course if you just click here in the left hand corner.